that name because it's the only name given unto man under heaven which you and I can be saved. J-E-S-U-S. Are you from Denmark? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Right here is pretty good. about this, okay? If you like this, like for yourself. We don't fucking care about that, okay? God cares. No, you God care. Cares. You care. I care about my religion. He cares What's about your religion? religion? What's your I'm religion? Christian. I'm Christian. I'm Christian. No, you're demon possessed. Yeah. You're I'm not human. a Christian. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. About you're not that. saved. God wants to save you. You know what? Jesus Christ I, will you save you. I Okay. I am in Bangkok, Thailand, everybody. And I've got my Reformation t shirt on. I've got my tripod here, and I've got my fire scarf tied to me and tied. say to God, you can't 
understand me. I'm a human. God can say, I walk the streets. I know what it's like. I was tempted in all ways, but yet I, he never sinned. So God came in the flesh to show us the way to the Father. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. you spread the way? Yes, Jesus Here? is the way. Well, all over the world. No, no all over the world. Where do you live? This is the southern city. Do you live in no, France? Southern. No, Israel. <laughs> oh, I love Israel. Are you serious? What part of Israel? <laughs> Don't make me cry. Yeah, that, 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 that. Are you from Tel Aviv? No, like that. <laughs> Where are you from? No, I have a, I have a shofar. You got a shofar? Yeah, I've got a shofar. Are you Jewish? Are you guys Jewish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. I see when I started this. You got shofar? No shofar. Give me the shofar. I got it in Jerusalem. No, no, don't say it. Don't say it. Shofar. Do you know how to play the shofar? Yes. Step back, step back. You know, you know where you have to play shofar. It's hard. You know what? I think it's better to drive your own car. I don't know. <laughs> Keep going. Do it again. Ridiculous. Come on. I am the Rabbi. You know Rabbi? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeshua. Cool. This is a Yeshua really good. Yeshua I love it. I got it 40 shekels. 40 shekels? Oh, you wear in Israel? Uh, that about Moses. That street ball. Uh, I, I got uh, Watch it. death Watch it street. Watch it street. Watch it street. Ah, Jerusalem? Mm -hmm. Near to the western uh, wall? Uh, Party district, Saturday night. Come on. Are you, are you Israeli too? Israeli? Now let me tell you the truth. This is the God honest truth. I booked my hotel close to Calzone because Jews come to this street. I seriously booked it because I want to reach the Jews. And here you are. Are you Jewish? But yes, we are all Jewish. You're all yeah. Jewish? But this street is the street of Satan, you know? I know, well, bed. you know, sometimes all, all, all you gotta, you gotta risk your life for love. I love the Jews. You have no idea how much I love the Jews. <laughs> Why else would I carry this? You know what I mean? They go twisted. You know, it's, uh, that's proof enough. Do you right? know what your mother does? I, it it's actually brings the, judgment. The gate of uh, the sky, no. Yeah. The gate to, to, to God. Jesus! When you pray the Shofar, Jesus, yes. come yeah. down and hey, what's up, guys? He loves you. Okay. Seriously, <laughs> Jesus on the cross, it said, King of the Jews. Did you know that? King of the Jews? Yeah, King of the Jews. That was on his cross. Jews now listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing about the Jews. You need to know this. Abraham was promised a lamb. When John the Baptist came, he saw Yeshua at the River Jordan, Tiberias. And he said, Behold, the uh, Lamb of your focus. It's only two minutes. Only two? Don't worry about it. John the Baptist was the first prophet since Malachi. He said, Behold the Lamb of God. Yeshua is your Lamb. He's your Lamb. Bibi Netanyahu. You know Bibi Netanyahu? The Prime Minister of Israel? Yes. He's a sinner in need of a savior. Only Jesus can forgive your sins. You know, Bibi Netanyahu is one of the, yeah, the eight IQ in the world. Number eight. I, I, know, I believe it. He went to a school in America, preached at that school uh, in Boston. Uh, MIT? No, she didn't learn in Harvard. No, no, he, he, he went somewhere in MIT. It 
was Massachusetts. It's Boston, Massachusetts, close to Harper. Okay, we have to go. We got to fly now to Jesus is your Messiah, your King, and your Lamb sacrifice. Next time Yom Kippur comes, don't be waving no chicken around your head. <laughs> Thank you very much. I came here because of you. Thank you. No, thank you. Shabbat Shalom!
the name Jesus, and Jesus changed my life. I was a dead woman bound in my sin, and just like Lazarus in his tomb, he said, roll away the tomb. She's not dead. I'm going to set her free, and he rolled away the tomb in my life. Jesus wants to set you free. No matter you have sinned against God. No matter how many candles you've lit to foreign dead gods, Jesus wants to save you. Jesus came into the world to seek and to save that which was lost. Many of you are lost, Hong Kong. You're lost. And God has brought light. Jesus said,
prophesied he shall be called wonderful counselor mighty god yeah here she goes people all the way from the philippines ladies and gentlemen may i present the filipino preacher woman Jesus did for you. Oh, I'm a sinner, but Jesus forgave me. Yes, you know. I was living darkness before, but Jesus saved me. Yes. Jesus is so good to me. Yes. Jesus changed my life, people. Yes. Repent, people. Jesus loves you very, very much. And he's coming very soon. He's coming very soon. There is no more time, people, so repent now. Amen. Jesus is so merciful. Yes. He's so gracious to his people. You did it! Thank you for holding your applause, everyone. Here, you got an audience waiting on you right there. Go get them. She wants to tell you something.
you from? Miami. 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 Jesus. Greater than Mary. Are you really? preacher woman. Tell him what Easter's all about. Hallelujah. It's the best weekend to preach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Round two. Resurrected from the dead. Jesus died for us. He was dead in the cross for us to be free and to be set free from our sins and our bondages. Jesus as one. Jesus give us peace. Shout my name. So, ang gagawin mo? 
Kita muna kami, baka nandiyan yung mga kakilala ko. Kasi sila ka na ako. Well, alam niyo, ako'y nag-observe nung unang mock of time. Ano, nag-observe ako. Wala namang dumaan doon na hindi sinabing crazy sila. Wala dumaan. Crazy ladies. Cheese. Okay Okay lang. Sa akin nga nilang maralig, may, may tela naman sila bukas, narinig nila yun. So it's not about us, basta narinig nila, mahalaga narinig nila. Amen? Amen. Let's, pay, let's pay the price na matawag na baliw. Let's pay the price. Amen? To be called crazy, let's pay the price to be called crazy. Okay, just to the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ be preached. Amen? Anyway, you are called to be preachers of the end time, right? Amen. Remember that? Ako napakahina. You are called to be preachers of the end time. Amen. So, this is it. May I give to you the preach hell of the streets of the world. Na, uh, Praise God. It's so good to be here today. I'll go ahead and blow it, get this out of the way. I say that, but we blow it.
You don't have to go, no, you're not, you little bad sitter from hell. <laughs> now, some people need that. I'm just telling you, some people need that. I'm scared to. <laughs> you should really come with me sometimes. It's fun. <laughs> no, I mean, we, we, are, we are a shepherd to them. Basically, if somebody's standing in front of us, they have no church background, they're totally lost, guess who their pastor is? That's us. We're their pastor. We're their soul doctor. Say, you know what? The scripture says you would say that. You know, most people do think you're good. Uh, they're good. But you know what? God gave us the Ten Commandments, and He told us not to lie. He told us not to have idols. Amen. You know, the Catholics, they changed the Ten Commandments. They took out number two and split up number ten. So when you go to the Philippines, you can be in awe. Well, look at them. They fear God. They got the Ten Commandments statue. Ooh. No, they don't. They have the Catholic Ten Commandments. Okay? It needs to be torn down, just like Buddha. Because who messes with the Ten Commandments? God wrote that with his finger. But leave it to the Catholic Church to go, no, we really need Mary. Let's change this a little bit. <laughs> no, we don't. I'm telling you, never in my life have I ever said, God, please, I need Mary and Joseph right now. Please. 